In section 11.6, we'll be focusing on the areas of circles, sectors, and segments. After watching this video, you will be able to find the areas of circles, find the areas of sectors, and find the areas of segments. You may already know the formula to find the area of a circle. We've discussed this in our earlier sections, and you probably have seen it in your previous math classes as well. We find the area of a circle by doing pi r squared. So that means it's equal to the product of pi and the square of the radius. So keep in mind, the radius of a circle starts at the center and goes to the circle itself. It's that segment right there. Let's move on to finding the area of a sector of a circle. If you notice here, a sector appears to be a piece of a pie, or you can say a slice of pizza. And it is the region that's bounded by a circle, and it's divided into sectors. Let's talk about what a sector is. A sector is a region bounded by two radii and an arc of the circle. So we have our two radii here, as you can see and then this arc there. So if we fill that in, that's our sector. Just as the length of an arc is a fractional piece of the circumference of a circle, the area of a sector is a fractional part of the area of the circle. So the area of a sector is equal to the area of the circle times the fractional part of the circle determined by the sector's arc. So let's say that again. The area of a sector is found by taking the area of the entire circle and multiplying it by the fractional part of the circle that's determined by the sector's arc. So that means we're going to take the measure of the arc, which will be represented in degrees, and divide that by 360 since we have 360 degrees around the circle. You can also think about it as a proportion and say that the area of the sector to the area of the entire circle is equivalent to the measure of the arc over 360. So you can use either the first formula to solve it or you can use the proportion. It's your choice. And then finally, let's talk about the area of a segment. Let's talk about what a segment is. A segment is a region that's bounded by a chord and its corresponding arc. So if we look up here, we have the chord that we're highlighting here and then the corresponding arc right there. That shaded region there is what we call a segment of a circle. Let's think about how we could find the area of that segment. Well, if you notice, it's a shaded region and it's inside of a sector, which is what we just talked about above. So since we're working with the shaded area problem, if we could find the area of our entire sector, which I'm going to highlight here in blue, and then take away the non-shaded region, which is what shape? Well, that non-shaded region is a triangle. So if we could find the area of the entire sector and subtract off the area of the triangle, then we'll be left with the area of our segment. When we find the area of a sector by what we talked about above, we take the area of the circle and multiply it by the fractional piece. So we do the measure of the arc divided by 360 and then we can take away the triangle. Now if we're working with the right triangle, we'll do one half base times height, which we talked about before. We, but we also could be working with an equilateral triangle as well. So we can subtract off the equilateral triangle by doing side squared radical 3 over 4. You will be given some information to determine if it's a right triangle or an equilateral triangle, as you'll see in the example problems. We'll pick back up with the second part of the notes in just a moment.